तो यहाँ पे तो यहाँ पे हम क्रिएट न्यू कंटेंट करेंगे ठीक है तो मैं यहाँ क्लिक कर रही हूँ क्रिएट न्यू कंटेंट है यहाँ पे मैंने क्लिक किया है दैट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप फर्स्ट स्टेप इज क्रिएट योर अकाउंट एंड देन वंस यू क्रिएट एन अकाउंट इनसाइड साइड डैशबोर्ड क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट न्यू कॉन्टेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो वेयर आई एम you have to follow this breadcrumb navigation here you will see that from dashboard create content create new content me create new content ke zariye maine yahan aaya hai to ye sab ye hai hyp editor yahan pe bahut sare content types dikhai de raha hai humko hum sort kar sakte hain newest first aur a to z name ke vaaste bhi hum sort kar sakte hain yahan pe मैं ले रही हूँ सिंपल सा जैसे कि मैंने दिखाया बहुत सारे कंटेंट टाइप्स हैं लेकिन आप कैसे पहले जान सकते हैं कौन सा कंटेंट मैं इस्तेमाल करना चाहती हूँ इसीलिए मैंने ऐसा टेबल बनाया था मैंने आपको दिखाया प्रेजेंटेशन में उसको मैंने इमेज हॉटस्पॉट यूज करके इसको मैंने इंटरक्टिव इमेज भी बना लिया ठीक है अगर अगर कोई आप क्रॉसवर्ड बनाना चाहते हैं इसका क्या है इसका ट्यूटोरियल कहाँ हो सकता है आप क्लिक करते समय आपका इधर ट्यूटोरियल का लिंक दे जाएगी दे आप देख सकते हैं या कोई वीडियो भी आप देख सकते हैं ये सारा पूरा डिटेल्स मैंने सेशन के बाद मैं शेयर करूंगी आपसे डोंट वरी मैंने इसीलिए दिखाया कि आपको कौन सा कंटेंट टाइप क्रिएट करना चाहिए अगर आप पीरियोडिक टेबल ये देख के पता चल जाएगा आपको मुझे कौन सा चाहिए कौन सा टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी मैं मेरा सब्जेक्ट के तरह मैं क्रिएट करना चाहती हूँ ये सब आप डिसाइड कर सकते हैं ये टेबल देखे अभी हम करेंगे सिंपल सा पहले ट्राई करेंगे मार्क द वर्ड्स अभी हम सर्च करेंगे मार्क द वर्ड्स के लिए यहाँ पे आएगा अगर आप डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन यूज कर रहे हैं कोई ये सेशन में तो जब आप मार्क द वर्ड्स क्लिक करेंगे तो डिटेल्स में जाएंगे तो यहाँ पे इंस्टॉल करके आएगा आप पहली बार यूज कर रहे हैं डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन लूमी का इसलिए वो इंस्टॉल आएगा आप इंस्टॉल करके वो कॉन्टेंट टाइप को यूज कर सकते हैं beauty of this open source software is that everywhere you will find tutorials and information about the content type and also content demo and screenshots it talks about what is this mark the words so it allows content designers to create textual expressions with defined set of correct words jaise ki agar aap ek paragraph dekhe usme se प्रोनाउंस uh, को सेलेक्ट करें या नाउंस को सिलेक्ट करें ऐसा वाला इंटरक्टिविटी भी आप बिल्ड करना चाहते हैं तो ये मार्क द वर्ड्स इज अ गुड ऑप्शन तो ये सिंपल है इसीलिए हम सिंपल एक्टिविटी के साथ शुरू करेंगे सो so दैट आपको थोड़ा ये क्लाउड का इंटरफेस जो है समझ में आ जाएगा ठीक तो हम यू क्लिक करेंगे यूज तो पहला स्टेप है आप क्रिएट न्यू कॉन्टेंट में जाइए और वहां पे मार्क द वर्ड सर्च कीजिए यहाँ पे आ जाएंगे आप मार्क द वर्ड्स आई होप यू ऑल आर ऑन दिस पेज दे आर टू बटन हियर व्यू एंड एडिट दिस इज द ड्रॉप डाउन एंड हियर यू हैव टू बटन दैट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्यूटोरियल एंड देन टॉकिंग अबाउट एग्जाम्पल ओके एंड देन कमिंग डाउन हियर नेक्स्ट टू टाइटल देर इज अ स्मॉल बटन कॉल्ड मेटा डेटा What is this metadata? Title के बाजू में दिखाई देगा ऐसा वाला बटन <coughs> और बाकी एच वाई पी कॉन्टेंट टाइप्स में अगर कहीं आप इमेज या इंफॉर्मेशन या टेक्स्ट यूज कर रहे हैं वहीं पे भी दिखाई देगा इसकी नेचर क्या है कि हम कहा से ये टेक्स्ट ले रहे हैं कौन सा लाइसेंस है उसका वो सब दे सकते हैं इंडिविजुअली एंड ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट टू टाइटल मेटा डेटा में पूरा एंटायर एक्टिविटी को आप लाइसेंस दे रहे हैं तो समझिए आप में मैं यहाँ रख रही हूं फाइंड नाउंस इन द पैराग्राफ इन द 
given paragraph. Okay. Okay. मैं यहां से ले रही हूं और यहां पे आप मीडिया भी ऐड कर सकते हैं जैसे कि इमेज वीडियो और ऑडियो फॉर एग्जांपल यू हैव अ वीडियो ऑन नाउंस वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ नाउंस आपने बनाया है या कोई ओपन एजुकेशनल रिसोर्स का वीडियो है अपलोड मत कीजिए यू ऑलवेज प्रोवाइड अ स्ट्रीमिंग लिंक लाइक आपका विमियो प्रो हो या यूट्यूब लिंक हो वैसा वी कैन प्रोवाइड जैसे कि वीडियो डालेंगे हम तो वीडियो में सोर्स कहा से देंगे सोर्स डाल के यहाँ पे आप लिंक दे सकते हैं कौन सा वीडियो हम यूज कर सकते हैं यहाँ दिया हुआ है अगर आप पेशेंस के साथ थोड़ा टाइम दे के क्रिएट करेंगे तो इट्स वेरी इजी टू क्रिएट मैं तो अभी कोई वीडियो या ऑडियो या इमेज कुछ नहीं दे रही हूँ ओके तो मैं सेलेक्ट नहीं करूंगी मीडिया कोई मीडिया नहीं दे रही हूँ मेरे एक्टिविटी को और यहाँ पे टास्क डिस्क्रिप्शन दिया हुआ है क्या लिखना है डिस्क्राइब हाउ द यूजर शुड सॉल्व द टास्क सो आई शुड से दैट आइडेंटिफाई द नाउंस गिवन इन दिस पैराग्राफ and click on them. then check your answers okay or yahan pe hum text field mein text dete hain to yahan pe acha sa instructions diya hua hai ki hum yahan paragraph deke करेक्ट वर्ड्स वो मिसिंग वर्ड्स जो होते हैं या नाउन्स को आइडेंटिफाई करने के लिए मैं वहां एस्टिक्स के बीच में वो वर्ड देती हूँ फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव कॉपीड अ टेक्स्ट लेट मी टेक सम टेक्स्ट फ्रॉम एनी ओ आर रिसोर्स एक्चुअली आई हैव टू लोअर माई ओके I am taking it from now English grammar from wiki books and this license is Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike four dot o. Okay, so <clears throat> I can take this and I didn't copy it maybe. I'll copy it. Copy and paste. Okay. Uh, to correct words ko hum, nouns ko hum, asterisks me, ke beech me add karenge. So remember, it only takes. See. विद इन मार्क बाई एडिंग अनदर एस्ट्रिक अगर एस्ट्रिक को भी वर्ड के साथ जोड़ना है तो ओनली वर्ड कैन बी मार्क एज करेक्ट नॉट फ्रेजेस रिमेम्बर दैट ओनली वर्ड चलिए वॉटर लिलीज ट्रीज वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ नाउन्स एंड साइड्स मास्टर house road side shop theek hai and don't think that this is only for language people if there is a will there is a way various options that you can try let us see if this works with hyphen like there's a water release hai hamara okay so okay aur bhi hai oh my god i have taken a large paragraph okay
Now I've created a paragraph with correct options. Okay. And now a feedback, overall feedback. Define custom feedback for any score range. So we can add various ranges, four ranges and distribute evenly so that it will calculate 0 to 25%, 26 to 50% automatically. You can give 76 to 100% as excellent. And very good. Depending upon the content types you use, uh, feedbacks differ. Need practice. Okay. So now comes behavioral setting. These behavioral settings also differ from content type to content type. Okay. Uh, they differ from content type to content type like uh, because we are using mark the words these behavioral settings are like enable retry enable show solution enable score points if you are using an interactive video then the behavioral settings will be different if you are using a course presentation those behavioral settings will be different depending upon the type of activity that you create these settings will differ the feedback and also behavioral settings okay i want to give a, a retry option okay now uh what i want to do is i can first save it and then i can view it so i clicked on save and now i want to view it okay i will see that how many are is it working correct not working correct okay see and solution is this okay now you created an activity you want to make it publicly available with certain license before that you better give a metadata for your content type because i have taken this from um, wikipedia and wiki books that is cc by sa license right where is the source for that and who is the author and from where we have taken or you have to provide license extras additional information. Okay, let us uh, figure out if there is any author for this or simply we say wiki books. Sometimes they give the author. Okay, it is from uh, wiki books. So... I'll give a source that is uh, URL. I'll save as an author. Okay. So attribution share alike. I say save metadata. And you know the conditions that when you use a share alike license, you have to use a similar license to share with. So when I make it public, it will ask me what attribution you must choose is CC by SA. And I want to provide all these options, copyright and terms of services. Then I will say publish and it is available. So now how do I share this with others? Now I copy the link. I will share with you all as a link. I hope you all can access it. For example, you want to embed this into your uh, site or LMS or wherever, uh, any of your home page, right? How do you do that? There is a help option given here, how to embed content on your home page or deploy content to your students. When you click on this deploy option, what is this deploy name that you announce for um, K-12 maybe to remember, uh, in which elements or in which class that you're for class seventh or eighth, you can remember. So whether you want to give a download or reuse button, you can provide. Embed button, you want to provide, you can provide. Show license, it's up to you how you want to provide all this information and show Lumi frame and collect data, all this, your choice is to 
create. When you save option and your deployments link will be created here. This is the link. And then when you click on that link, you will be able to see that embed code option and also this link option. Once you copy this link, you can share with your users. Can you all create uh, one activity called mark the words in your Lumi cloud and share the link here? If you want, I will repeat the steps. Don't worry. I created mark the words content in Lumi cloud. Let me stop share and yes, sir, please create. As I said, when there is a will, there is a way. Like uh, one uh, humanities teacher once created a timeline out of a case study from a Wiki University. She has taken and usually she used to give uh, like a text to their users, but uh, she thought once she got introduced to H5P, she thought like that case can be, it's like a, one of the cases like Nirbhaya cases that she wanted to give a, what the timeline of the case and what happened, when did the verdict come, that she created using a H5P timeline. Ah, okay. Uh, Manjulata, okay, Dr. Manjulata, I will, I will explain how to publish the content. Let me share my screen. Okay. What, if you want to publish to the public, okay. So <clears throat> before it was not created uh, to the public, I am not sharing it. Make sure that you add a metadata here and then you am enabling it. See now I disabled it. When I am enabling it, it will ask me what license. And you know that when we are using share alike license, you always share it with the same license and then choose all the options here and then click on publish. You will see the publish link. You can take uh, some other uh, information, just not re repeat the same thing, okay? But there is no hard and fast rule that, or you cannot edit it. You can always edit it. You can always change the content type. You can always delete your content from the Lumi Cloud also, okay? So you first practice in your subject area, identify a OER and do it. Or uh, mm, we will do another activity type also, okay? Like a image hotspot. Don't worry. First, you create this and let's see. Um, I'll put a timer maybe, that's easy. Okay, already somebody shared. Let me see. Ritesh ji, Siddharth ji, very good. I will share your content, sir. Let me complete that time. You are pretty fast. Really appreciate. Ritesh ji, Siddharth ji. And I hope, uh, I didn't check though. I hope you did your metadata option also. Let me see. Um, 
सिद्धार्थ जी आप चेक कीजिए आपने जो क्रिएट किया है एक बार रितेश जी मैं आपका अभी चेक नहीं किया है मैं चेक कर रही हूँ सिद्धार्थ जी आप एक बार चेक कीजिए आपने जो क्रिएट किया है ओके ड्रैग द वर्ड्स गुड एक्सपेरिमेंट रितेश जी लेकिन uh, आपने कॉपीराइट uh, इंफॉर्मेशन कहीं नहीं दिया हुआ है ओके okay. अजय जी मैं चेक कर रही हूँ सिद्धार्थ जी आप uh, चेक कीजिए आपका ठीक नहीं है आंसर्स इन ऑल ओके एंड आई एम चेकिंग अजय सर्स मैथमेटिक्स सी सी बाय से लेकिन कुछ नहीं दिख रहा है ओके नेक्स्ट वन आई एम चेकिंग फिर भी कुछ नहीं दिख रहा है अजय अजय सर ओके अभी हिरेन आई एम लुकिंग एंड योर्स हिरेन जी आप, आपका टास्क डिस्क्रिप्शन क्लियर कीजिए फाइंड नाउन इन द पैराग्राफ एंड व्हेन क्लिक ऑन देम गिव करेक्ट आंसर आप आपका लैंग्वेज में भी आप कर सकते हैं इंग्लिश में ही करने की जरूरत नहीं है हिंदी में या कोई भी लैंग्वेज में आप टाइप कर सकते हैं ठीक है और आपका भी कॉपीराइट राइट इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है इधर नेक्स्ट कम्स अंकुश Identify the nouns. Uh, <laughs> and click on them, then check answer. Okay. This is a nice flexible content type. <laughs> Sir, uh, when you create, uh, try to create. Now you got a hang of it. You edit it and create a meaningful one. And uh, Rina Purohitji. सो so, आपने फीडबैक दिया है ओवरऑल फीडबैक में ओके इट्स नॉट ओवरऑल फीडबैक लाइक आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट डाइट गांधीनगर आई थिंक रीना जी ट्राई टू गिव okay very good and uh, in this fast paced whole class game students moved around the classroom writing the plural forms of nouns so if you have taken this from anywhere please provide the option of uh, copyright information if it is your own you please uh, give uh, your name as a author name and then copyright option also that i don't see here ओके बिनू विनीता जी अगर कैसे पैसेज लेना है मैं तो वो यार आइडेंटिफाई uh, करके लेने के लिए बोल रही हूँ आप वो लीजिए दैट इज गुड यू नो हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई ओ यार राइट सो नाउ मेघा रानी जोशी ठीक है बिफोर आई डू दैट कैन वी रीना डाउट कैन वी चेंज द आफ्टर पब्लिश एंड करेक्शन ऑटोमेटिकली हो जाएगा आप पब्लिश uh, uh, करने के बाद चेंज कर सकते हैं फिर भी सेव कीजिए यस 
वो ऑटोमेटिकली सेव होगा हिरेन एवेडेड कॉपीराइट इंफॉर्मेशन ओके एंड लेट मी सी मेघा रानी जोशी ओके यू हैव टेकन सिंगल चॉइस वन क्वेश्चन ओके फॉर दिस यू कैन टेक अ क्वेश्चन सेट और अ क्विज वी कॉल इट ओके एंड कॉपीराइट इंफॉर्मेशन डोंट फॉरगेट to provide and uh, shri krishna nihal when you create uh, when you, when i say any improvements when you create a improvements please do share the url again then we can check shri krishna nihal i am looking into your content true or false you have create or you have used a question set true or false and um that's very good actually true or false and also you have used choose the proper noun from the given options very good cc by sa you have given uh, how about the author and details uh, have you given i'm not sure please do check once again that's a good attempt for quiz nihal and then gupesh prasad shrivastav ji okay let me check this you have added a image also uh, journeys begin with small steps i don't know who is this cute kid but uh, while while sharing images you please uh, make sure that you can share these images and also you have to provide copyright information of the image you haven't provided copyright information that's why it shows as unidentified copyright information of that image which of the food samples will give blue black color on adding iodine actually the food science uh, uh, uh you can create wonders with hyp activities sir. so you have used uh, multiple choice single question you can use instead of it question set so that you can use many if you know this process how to create a single simple ones you can create a multiple and also you can create a complex content types like a course presentation uh, or column or uh, interactive book or interactive video where you can embed these activities next comes uh, rajesh prasad ji a metal and non metal but uh, i don't see the content i'm sorry um i think it's 43 seconds left and then i will share the screen with you all anyway oh already i am sharing my screen no it's only timer that is sharing okay next comes how to add more questions bhupesh ji up a question set try kijiye so you will have various varieties of uh, questions i will anyway do um a demo on that okay or single choice set you can take shafi uh ajis shaik okay let me look at this content 4 seconds to go 3 seconds to go 2 seconds to go okay time is up uh now um i will share my screen and then we will look at the content types yeah i am looking at one of these okay good and what is the copyright information there is no copyright information shapi ji or if you have given your author name and all it will display here actually i don't know whether you have given or not and uh, let me look at uh, next one chashida rujwa oh i have to share my screen i forgot i'm sorry 
Next comes uh, Shashidhar Ujwal. Okay, I clicked on it. <laughs> Shashidhar ji, uh, now you know how to do it. You please edit and do a meaningful one. Okay. And the copyright information, please make sure. Um, next comes is Joel Alex Fernandez. Okay. Okay, and but how about the copyright information? Uh, nobody added the uh, author names, uh, either at least your name. Rajesh Narayan, sir, I checked after Rajesh Prasad. Let me check, let me check. I didn't miss any. Okay, Rajesh Narayan Ray, okay. Okay. Names of fruits. Okay. It's easy for me, kind of a naive English person. Ah, I got three out of three. Excellent. But where is the copyright information? Please add uh, copyright information, sir. And comes now Om Prakash. Vishwa Karma. Vishwa Karma. Complete the sentence with a suitable word. Ah, that's a good option. This is what I call a creativity. Right? Very good. Okay. Uh, Rajesh, sir, you added the copyright information. Then it is why it is not uh, displaying. For example, if I see this. Let me go to. Is it not displaying for any or only for this? Let us see. See, if we don't give, it says unidentified. Okay, Dilip. Uh, anybody used a desktop application and published it as a HTML file? Can you please share that file here? Okay, the given figure is okay. That's a good option. See, like this. If you are, if you give, for example, uh, let me download this. And uh, go to my content type or upload a content. Then I will try to get the content type from the downloads that I have done just now. Okay. Thank you. 
بس When I open my content here and then when I want to edit this, for example, Hiren Kumar, sir, uh, 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 Lumi application is available as a desktop application or as a cloud option that is from app.lumi.education. Okay, when I click on this edit option, I'm showing it how to add a copyright information for the image that you added. Okay, this is the metadata information. You please give your name if it is uh, the image created by you and a save as an author. Uh, for just now, I will show you how it looks like. And, uh, and I want to give a CC BY information for this. And now I want to save. Okay, for image, it's always better to give an alternative text. Alternative text, again. Uh, it's a uh, signs again, how to add uh, alternative image. Okay, so now when I see this, uh, when I see uh, publicly uh, make it available, for example, I'll delete the content later though. And uh, I published it and we'll open this. Oh, still it is, when, 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 I, when, when I gave, it is not showing. Okay, let me check the metadata. Is it not only in my browser or everywhere? It will usually show. How it shows is, let me just share one information maybe. For example, yeah. When you click on rights of uh, use, you will see this information. Right. This is the information that I want to share with you all how HYP Smart Import works. Okay. Uh, I will share all this information with you. Don't worry. Even for this rights of use, when you click for the each and every image that it will display uh, all the options, like what image is that? What kind of a license is that? It will display. So we have to figure out uh, whatever that OER is. For example, somebody asked the question set, can we create a number of questions? Like this, you can take number of questions. Okay, various types of questions as image, as an answer also you can take or as a single choice or as a multiple choice option. If you want to see how to create an interactive book, there are plenty of uh, tutorials available in hyp.org. Apart from that, you have this option okay rajesh prasad say edited okay very good and then somebody shared a google drive link i don't know whether to click on that or not um because you cannot add a file here you are uh, sharing that so what you can do is prakash chavanji okay Hmm. very good so you all are comfortable with the uh, with the environment now we will do a second one okay because you sent in a google drive you couldn't send across there is an option and also about all these um, uh Whatever the content that you created, you can create inside your uh, uh, one uh, bulletin board kind of a thing where we can 
Uh, simply all of us can share all these details. Let me open that bulletin board for you first before I jump on to other one. Um, there are my apps. I will share with you. Because you are all are well versed with various uh, tools. This is a Padlet. And uh, when you click on that, it will ask you a password to post a link that you have created already. Um, let me share that password with you. For that. Yeah. Okay, for the Padlet, that is the password. When you open the Padlet, what you can do is you can uh, add a link. You can click on the plus icon here. Let me share my app. Yeah, you can click on the plus icon. And then you can write the subject, your name, and then uh, you can click on this attach a link and then you can provide a link to your Lumi. You can write your name inside that subject. Okay. And then you can add the link option. Okay. You can paste or type the link here. That's how you will be adding. And this is one bulletin board. Okay. We are using Padlet here. Okay, fine. Now, uh, this is for a cloud option. Next, uh, we, we, we have tried mark the words. Now, what will we do is drag the words also. You are comfortable. I have seen many of you created. And now we will try to create image hotspots. Like, for example, you might have got introduced to uh, Canva or some other type of uh, image editing options, right? So if you have created any infographic and you want to provide some clickable options to it, how you can do it using image hotspots. Let's do that now. Let me share my screen again. I hope you are clear with how to create a uh, uh, H5P activities in uh, Lumi, right? I mean to say cloud application. Let me close all of these so that my memory won't be eaten. Good, good, good job. Actually, all of you tried, I think. M most of you tried, I think. Very good. And let me open. Okay. Now I'll click on a uh, new content type again. Yeah, password I have given already. Password is this. It's nothing but SRG, all caps, underscore, 2023, OCT, that is October. Okay? So we can see in the bulletin board, in the Padlet. Instead of a chat box here, we can see there nicely as a bulletin board. That's the idea. Okay, when we click on create a new content, Again, here, we will take image hotspots. We will search for it. Okay. This is image hotspots. And then we'll click on use option. And look at this. The editor is a bit different than what it was in the mark the words, right? Depending upon the content type, it will differ okay uh can anybody give me uh your subject image that you found 
while searching with open license, any image. You can search in Openverse. You can search in Wikimedia. You can directly search in Flickr for open li openly licensed images. Can anybody guide me on this? Just give me one image and what are the clickable options if you find any infographic? I'll give you around two to three minutes. Think about it or I will use my own. Let me know, please. Anybody? Did you find any? I don't see an answer in the chat. Or tell me your subject. Is it ed education or OER or open pedagogy? Or I'll take simply any science. You let me know. Any science teachers here? Yes, ma'am. So did you find any? Chemistry, chemistry ma'am. Chemistry, OK. So what image that you want to share, you want to search for? Periodic table. OK. So somebody else is saying something? Example is periodic table. Sorry? G. subject subject periodic table ka example ho gaya tha. Okay. Mathematics. Bolye? Mathematics. Ka Mathematics. 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 Okay, so either this way you can find the Creative Commons images or you can directly search in open words also. There is a openwords.org. I'll share this. Free stock photos, images, and audios uh, available with Creative Commons license. Okay, let me share that in the chat for you. Open words.org. Okay. And uh, this is for uh, images. Uh, OER. Yes, sir. images. And also you in Flickr, you will find. Okay. And the public domain also, you will find many of them. But you should understand what is a public domain, what is a free image, what is a creative commons image. OER class me aap sab ko ye bata diye honge. Theek hai. To abhi solar system ke baare mein baat kar rahe. Aur sir ne poochha solar system ka image. Aur ye image ko abhi hum. Um, you think that this is more useful. And then you want to create an image hotspot of the fit. And you want to provide the moment user clicks on Neptune. He will come to know a video about a Neptune or a text about a Neptune or about a dwarf planets. You want to give any information, right? Or about a Mars or a Jupiter, you can provide. Or you think that there is a better image than this. You can always go for it. Okay. I think this is a good one. And then let us see the usage information, how to use this, okay? Information about reusing or simply if you click on this open and media viewer, 
you will i hope i am sharing my screen let me check yes, yes okay when you click on this uh, open in media viewer you will see this information right permission details and international astronomical union martin or uh, whatever cordon master the media was produced by so and so under the identifier indicate that copyright uh, sorry my other monitor power gone i only one monitor is working now i don't know let me share that again i don't know the reason though i have to share again i'm sorry for this yeah Where is the solar system? Sharing is paused, it says. Let me see that. I think the power is gone. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Great. आपको ये आ सोलर सिस्टम दिखाई दे रहा है नहीं दे रहा है ब्लैक स्क्रीन आ रहा है मेरा तो ब्लैक स्क्रीन चल रहा है हाँ ब्लैक इवन वी कैन सी मैम या आई डोंट नो लेट मी लेट मी जस्ट शेयर माय एंटायर स्क्रीन मे बी Okay. I have to restart my. Okay, the search. Ah, uh, now are you able to? Yes. Are you able to see this? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So when you click on this media viewer. So it says that uh, it does not indicate the copyright status of the attached work. A normal copyright tag is still required. See Commons and licensing. This is about Commons licensing. You have to be very careful while uh, using any kind of a information. What is this Commons licensing? Free content. Images are other media files, no subject to copyright restriction, which would prevent them being used by anyone, anytime, any purpose. So, how can we use this image? How do we know how how we can use this image? If you have in doubt, then information about reusing, you can click on this, and then it will talk about. Okay, so some licenses require that original creator to be attributed. You have to be very very careful while doing this. so what we'll do is who is the author of this so international astronomical unit permissions reusing this file you can click on this reuse content outside wikimedia how we can utilize this information for example if we want to take any other information with uh, better licensing information let us see this wikimedia commons mein ye ye image kaun sa लाइसेंस के साथ है ओके व्हेन वी क्लिक ऑन दिस या दिस इज समबडी ओन वर्क एंड देन व्हाट इज द लाइसेंस दैट इट इज गिवन हियर ओके व्हाट इज द लाइसेंस इट इज सीसी बाय एस ए फोर डॉट ओ यू कैन सी दैट्स क्लियरली एंड हु इज द ओनर ही इज द ओनर सो वी कैन डाउनलोड एंड देन यूज दिस इमेज सो वील डाउनलोड दिस इमेज full resolution and remember whoever is the author and this this is the page that you are a uh, source that you have to take not uh, from the download option this is the source and then who is the author this person right this person is the author for this image anyway we will go to lumi dot education somebody asked how to get into this 
This is how we are using a cloud application. You can log in and then we'll click on create a new content. And uh, we are using image hotspots. Okay. And we will use this. Examples, you can always see this tutorial and example. And it is solar system. And background image, we will add the image that we just downloaded. It is about uh, solar system. If you have any doubt, please say it in Hindi. I will 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 edit the copyright. When we add the image, there is a button. So, click on the button. Who is the author? We have copied it in Hindi. And this is the URL. 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 No, this one. So, this is the image. Let me close this, otherwise we'll get confused. Okay, this is the URL. This is the URL that we'll take. And uh, we'll say that this is the source. And what is the title of this uh, image? See, this is what you can do with this. Create a comment, share a like. You can... Remix, you can share, you can attribute, and but you have to share a like, right? It is our own work. Yes, uh, Joel, Alex, uh, you raised your hand. Please tell me. Yeah. Ma'am, thank you very much for responding. Uh, my question is, if I want to search an image from our download an image from Canva, mm -hmm. then how do I uh, give all these attributions? Because Canva, you can just open the page and click on it and you get that image but i will not get all these information right yeah so uh that is why we call it whatever is available online is not uh openly licensed images that's why we call it uh we have to search for openly licensed images sir so canva images it is about like when you uh Click on that licensing, reusing the information. It says that you can reuse and you have to attribute if I'm not wrong. So what you can do is when you are creating open educational resource with images from such kind of uh, re repository, you have to properly attribute their uh, the, the URL of that image inside a Canva, and then you have to write in the license extracts that this image is from Canva. So if they have any issues later, they'll come up and then we have to remove that image. I hope I cleared that, sir. Oh. But it is always, a, um, I, I be, as an OER practitioner, I always uh, believe that, yes, it's hard to get open images, but then Canva may jo bhi images hai, it's not hard to create for ourselves. And then uh, sometimes it is very tricky that those images are very much needed for our uh, open educational resource. Then what you have to do is you have to provide a proper attribution for that image. The attribution is when you look into usage rights of a Canva images inside a Canva, he will clearly say attribute this image as a Canva image or whatever the information they give. For example, if you use an image from Pixabay, Pixabay got its own license. Pixabay got its own license. It is openly a public, it's not a public domain, but openly available images without attribution is required. But then these kind of entities, anytime they can change their terms of conditions, right? So we have to be very careful. And then we have to provide an attribution that this image is from canva.com. And if you have a URL of that image, you please provide that, sir. I hope I am clear. Uh, am I clear? Joel, sir, am I clear? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So let me share again. This is a solar system true color. That is the title that we are copying it here. And uh, source and license. It is CC by SA 4.0. And once I give that, I'll close this information. And then now comes hotspot icon. What kind of a icon that we want to use? 
if you have an icon to upload, you can always, but then as a, a first time practitioner, and I prefer always, uh, even uh, with the experience, I prefer predefined icons because we don't have to recreate the same size and exactly, uh, unless the, uh, again here, if the content really demands that kind of icon, we can always use, we have a lot of options here. We can use a plus sign or a minus sign or a times or check or question or info or exclamation. I feel here we can we should use an info option that is a I and a hotspot color because we are uh, using a very dark image. So we better, we also consider accessibility or humko esa wala color lena hai wo se dikhai dega. Either go for a neon ones or a white ones. And then you have to adjust this hotspot. For example, you are talking about this particular planet and you want to provide some information on this planet then what is the header for that planet i don't know what i have selected this is jupiter right so it is about a jupiter and you want to pop up content to be given as a text information again we'll search for a jupiter planet uh, information in advanced search will try to figure out if there is any OER available on this. Again, I got a Wikipedia astronomy online, but I don't know uh, what kind of a license that they have astronomy online. Oh, it is a CC by essay. Wonderful. So what we can do is we can provide a Jupiter information here as a text. We can just copy it about Jupiter. Okay. If we can, uh, sometimes they don't provide. And this is just an example I'm doing. And here, this text is, again, we are taking from somewhere else, right? We can provide that metadata here. Okay, this is the source. Uh, okay, and uh, astronomy online. Okay, so this work within licensed under Creative Commons, share alike 3.0. So let me take this astronomy online is the author for this. It is CC by SA 3.0. It is about Jupiter introduction. Okay. And I say save metadata. And then here I want to give for more info. This is just out of my curiosity. Uh, for more information, please visit. Okay, I'm giving this. Or you can just copy this and then provide a link to Astronomy Online. I'll provide this link. And the target window is a new window always. Okay, so like this, you can keep on adding few more hotspots. So now we'll add for the next planet. Once we are done, okay, pop-up content, you can decide, you can have a header. And then we will say, save option. And let us view this. Two hotspots we used, right? You can even provide a video, right? Instead of a text, you can also always provide a, a video. You can adjust these uh, hotspots. I hope I'm clear about this. And do you know how to publish this with the open license? This is about image hotspots. When you do slowly with this one by one, this task process, you'll be able to do a complex elements like interactive book and course presentation and column and uh, branching scenario. And there are many more like this. They are scavenger is also there. Wonderful option. Okay, now let me see messages. Can I randomize questions? Okay, okay, can we take from Pinterest? Okay, yeah, 
Okay. Two questions here. You can, Ajay Kumar sir, if you take from a quiz questions, you can, yes, you can do that. That is a quiz option or a questionnaire option. And uh, if you take from Pinterest, uh, uh, Pinterest again is not all the images are openly licensed, sir. Uh, but, you know, this licensing information is a very tricky one for educational purpose. They say that you can uh, attribute and you can use it. But when we uh, talk purely about open education and open pedagogy and open educational resources, um, as a practitioner, I, I, I clearly state that um, if it is not openly licensed, it's better to avoid and you can you can get um, similar kind of images in uh, open databases too, uh, which is copyrighted, but rephrase it in your own words. Do we give reference to the site? Oh, wonderful, Joel. And this is a time actually in AI generation. Um, AI is rewriting for us, right? Again, we are uh, finding uh, various plagiarism tools to figure out whether this is a rewrited or it is a original okay there are there are tools that it can identify uh, you can uh, why 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 we want to uh, create such kind of uh, work when it is a copyrighted it's always a good idea provide a link you write some paragraph about that particular topic in your own words and then for more information, they can visit so-and-so link. Then there is no issue at all. You are providing them the entire thing or uh, page from there. But then let me tell you, sir, let me tell you, ma'ams, and let me tell you all the participants when it comes to OER, for especially K-12 education, there are many, many repositories and there is a lot of content. It's uh, available. Uh, with the openly licensed uh, versions, either interactive content or simulations, or even for H5P you have. I have some links given in the presentation, like Libre Studio or eCampus Ontario or H5P Catalog. You please search for all these content types and the licenses, and then you know uh, all the information about various licenses, What, how you can utilize it then you can use it okay coming to uh, the the various options that you can use uh, to download or reuse uh, if you create any content in h5p.org that entire content is shared with cc by sa remember that okay so now we will uh, i will share few more sites where you can download H5P content types. Um, you can search for H5P content types and let me see the Padlet also here. Is there anybody doing it? It's only few of them, really surprising. More than 100, we, we have participants. I thought this bulletin board will be filled. But uh, we don't have much. Okay. Deploy content. Okay, good. Let me address that. If you want to give embed your content in one of your uh, websites or you want to provide a link to your uh, students, then you can click on this deploy content option if you want an embed link for your content type, right? So you can... Enable license information, copy button, and copy. You can copy paste content types. You please explore that. And then this is a sample deployment I am creating. And then the deployment is ready for you. Sorry. Uh, 
Oh. When I see my deployments, for example, see, once you click on the deployment, when you click on that link, this is the embed code that you get. Copy embed code and you can use it or you can download this QR code. Once you scan this QR code, you will be on that particular content type or you can copy this link and then you can use. That's about your deploying content. Okay, you are disseminating. Okay, I, I would like to show you. A Padlet is, sir, uh, you go click on that plus option and then provide your name. And then below there is a insert link option. You can give that link there. Okay. And uh, coming to, I, I would like to tell you how to uh, publish it as a HTML file from Lumi desktop application because many of you may not have any learning management system but then you want to use uh, you want to share your content as a html file with your users how we can do that we can click on this open existing h5p or a create new h5p when you click on a create new h5p again uh, you will land on the same editor okay this is a desktop application i am using and I'm clicking on open existing H5P content type that I just downloaded. I would like to use it. I think we just downloaded. Okay, I'll take mine only. Okay, if I want to uh, save it, if it will be saved as a .hyp, but then I want to export it. And these are the options, all in one HTML file. If I want to show rights and permissions, it's better. And then do you want to show embed link or include a report? For example, you have a website, but that, uh, that doesn't support uh, your H5P um, plugin. It's H5P is a free plugin, by the way, for WordPress. Then you can publish it as a HTML file. This HTML file can be hosted on your site too. And then this is basically used, uh, this HTML option to disseminate your uh, content as a simple HTML file to your users. Remember, H5P needs a browser to view your content. How I would access Padlet? Rajesh sir, I just uh, shared a Padlet uh, link. Can you, uh, can anyone please share that uh, Padlet link here and the password? Or let me go back and check, yeah. Yeah, I'm resharing the Padlet. And the password also. Okay, that is the password. Okay, so when I say export, okay, and okay, I'll save it on desktop. It is exported. Now I will open from my browser. See, rights of use information is displayed here. For example, if I want uh, any create any analytics report, right, then you can include your analytics while exporting it. How you can do it? You just click on export and then include reporter. Now export it. Sorry, I have to export in the same location so that we can open it. It is on the desktop. Replace. 
Now, I will open file. See earlier this file, this Lumi bar is not there. Now it is displayed. So what I can do is this is an option for a full screen, by the way. This is a course presentation example. You can click once the user interacts with this, they can click on this download option. You can, uh, the user will provide a name and then click OK. And then a file will be downloaded, very small. They can send you back. And in Lumi Analytics, you put all the Lumi files and then see the analysis, how they access your content. Okay, that is how uh, you use a Lumi application. Yeah, uh, after this uh, presentation, I will share all the details, uh, the links that I have shared with you, I think with uh, Aluxer or uh, yeah, with CIT and CRT, I will share and they will share with you all the details you can go through. And uh, I pro in the presentation, I have my contact details also about a H5P or a H5P free course. You can always contact us and uh, as a open with the openly licensed uh, open course is available. If anybody wants to remake it in their own language, fantastic. Uh, you can also do it. On this note, I would like to close and maybe another two minutes we can discuss uh, any questions are there and then we can wind up. I would like to see by tomorrow, maybe the Padlet is filled with all your you know, creations and make sure you give your proper credits on authorship to the content that you create. It is uh, Ocean, the topic, interactive content. We just discussed about um, introduction, about uh, interactivity and introduction to H5P. It's an option, but you need time, patience, and practice. With this, you can achieve and you can do wonders. All the best, my dear teachers. Many, many so, thanks to you, ma'am. Uh, it is very you, nice. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot, ma'am. A lot of thanks, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. For this. I hope you got uh, some, uh, because I want to see that you, you should not get confused with Lumi and H5P. Lumi just an application. H5P is a software that we create, H5P interactive content. Am I clear on that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 very much clear. Yeah, and H5P.org is just a place for uh, demos and also for documentation and tutorials. Ma'am, in uh, image hotspot, the I, I info, the predefined icon is there, but when I I am viewing this, the uh, text part is not showing. What what will the problem? Ha problem ho sakta hai ki apne hotspot ka text apne add kiya hai nahi kiya hai. Kiya hai ma'am. Let me let me show you that. I know what you're talking about. Ye sab na pehle pop jab karte... pop up content is not showing. Ha. जब आप हम पहले बार ये सब करते हैं ये सब मिस्टेक्स तो होता है होता है हाँ तो स्लोली स्लोली वी विल रियलाइज आई अंडरस्टूड व्हाट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लेट मी शो यू सर लेट मी मे बी आई लाइक एक्सप्लेन यू वेर इज दैट सोलर सिस्टम बहुत सी पढ़े लगते पहले रोशनी वालों रोशनी और दोस्तार Please, please switch off the mute. Okay. Uh, here I am. I hope you can see my screen. हाँ, जब आप यहाँ एक background image देते हैं और उसके बाद alternative text image के लिए दे दीजिए और इसके बाद predefined icon को आप select कीजिए info या exclamation हो कोई भी, okay? और hotspot color को define कीजिए और नीचे आके ये hotspot position जो है adjust कीजिए और उसके बाद आप header दीजिए शायद आपने text header में दिया होगा और यहाँ पे टेक्स्ट जो है इसमें आपको टेक्स्ट लिखना चाहिए आपने ये सब किया है सर भूपेश सर 
यस सर हेड हेड यस मैम हेडर में क्या डालना है हाँ हेडर क्या the... है कि हाँ हेडर है ज, जिसके बारे में जैसे कि कोई टेक्स्ट का हम हेडर देते हैं ना वैसा जैसे ये आप, 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 आप आपके वाले में ही बता दीजिए हाँ तो इसका मैंने जुपिटर हेडर दिया है जुपिटर के बारे में बोल रहे हैं ना हम तो जुपिटर वाला है, हेडर दिया है तो आ, अगर हम ये कंटेंट को व्यू करेंगे तो ये जुपिटर का जो आई है यहाँ पर आ, ये ये, ये वाला नहीं हो ये नहीं आ, हो रहा है मेरे में आ, ये हेडर है और ये आपने सेव किया नहीं किया आ, सेव तो किया हाँ तो आप एक बार चेक कीजिए कंटेंट आइटम टेक्स लिया है नहीं लिया पॉप अप कंटेंट टेक्स लिया है पॉप अप कंटेंट टेक्स्ट कंटेंट आइटम टेक्स्ट हाँ और यहाँ पे टेक्स्ट टाइप कीजिए या पेस्ट कीजिए पेस्ट कर दिया व्यू और और अभी सेव करना है आपको यहाँ हाँ जी जी अभी आया होगा थैंक यू श्री कृष्णा निहाल सर ओके थैंक यू आई होप यू ऑल यूटिलाइज दिस नॉलेज टू क्रिएट अ वंडरफुल कॉन्टेंट फॉर योर दीक्षा प्लेटफॉर्म टू आई थिंक दीक्षा सपोर्ट्स हिच फाइव पी बट ओनली सर्टन टाइप ऑफ कॉन्टेंट टाइप्स I think uh, mark the words and image hotspots it supports. Sir, आपका आ गया नहीं आया नहीं आया मैम तो यहाँ पे आप ये सब स्टेप्स क्लियर है आपका हाँ ये तो स्टेप्स क्लियर और ये यहाँ पे कंटेंट आइटम दो दो खुला हुआ है तो वो एक रेड से हो गया था टेक्स्ट फील्ड इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड मस्ट हैव अ वैल्यू या दो तरह दो तरह के कंटेंट आइटम एक हटा दिया जाए क्या हाँ आप ये टेक्स्ट तो, जो है इधर लिख लीजिए और यहाँ एड आइटम किए होंगे आप तो हाँ, इसलिए फिर से आ गया है तो वो आप हटा दिया हट, हटा वो हटा दिए हाँ, हाँ, तो आप ज्यादा भी दे सकते हैं टेक्स्ट ही नहीं और दूसरा भी आप वीडियो भी दे सकते हैं अभी तो मैं बोल रही हूँ तो एक और आ गया था इस वजह से ऐसा हो गया क्या जी मतलब एक और ऐड हो गया था इस इस वजह से वो शो नहीं कर रहा क्या मे बी वो भी हो सकता है क्योंकि आपने टेक्स्ट कुछ नहीं दिया है और यहाँ पे आप सेव कीजिए जो भी करेंगे आप पहले सेव कीजिए और हाँ दूसरा हॉटस्पॉट डालना है तो फिर एक ऐड हॉटस्पॉट करना है आपको ओके अभी कर दीजिए आ जाएगा सीता बेन रबारी डॉक्टर सीता बेन रबारी थैंक यू सो मच ओम प्रकाश जी थैंक यू नमस्ते और एनी मोर डाउट्स ऑन एनी एनीथिंग अबाउट ओ आर और मुडल और एच फाइव पी नमस्ते सर यस सर अगर इंटरक्टिविटी के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं तो इंटरक्शन नहीं हो तो क्या है Actually, I do a lot of polls too. Uh, this time, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, any more doubts? Yes, it is done, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Great. Thank you, sir. Good. Good. Good, sir. Good. Good. Hiren Pandya ji downloaded H five P. Okay, you downloaded H five P content type. Okay, you want to reuse it. You please reuse it, but respect the copyright. Okay, and uh... oh, may I uh, come in there? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, हम लोग ये session सुन रहे थे और बीच में हमने बिल्कुल disturb नहीं करा क्योंकि session इतना अच्छा चल रहा था और जितने भी क्योंकि अब ये बहुत ही interactive session था और interactive resources पे था. तो इंट्रैक्शन भी बहुत ही एक्टिव रहा पार्टिसिपेंट्स की साइड से 
और रियली रियली मैम आप हमेशा जब भी आप सेशन लेते हैं तो इतना अच्छा होता है कि दिल करता है कि बस सुनते रहो और बहुत सारे डाउट्स क्लियर होते हैं तो मेरी पूरी उम्मीद है कि आज के सेशन से हमारे सारे पार्टिसिपेंट्स को बहुत बेनिफिट हुआ होगा 